on this edition of Train Masters TV. A narrow gauge empire, 30 years in the making. It's not perfect, it's certainly not a master model railroad or railroad. It's meant to be something that looks good, runs pretty good, and we can have fun with that. And I think we're hitting all three points there. And a massive model built on a schedule. A long time model railroader will come here and see something they've never seen before. We've been able to put 60,000 hours into it. How many people spend that kind of time building a home layout? I don't think you have that kind of time left in your life to do that, even if you did it full time. Good reasons to show off an unfinished layout. I'm not perfect in my model railroading skills. I don't proclaim to be, but I'm always learning something new and somebody might you know, find a solution to a problem that I've had down here that I haven't thought of. And finishing a railroad while enjoying it now. Parts of my layout are finished and some parts aren't, but we still operate it. You don't have to have a finished layout. It doesn't have to be big. I hope that's what people take away from my layout when they leave. And 19th century railroading that fits any space. You can have as much fun switching 10 car trains as you can switching 30 car trains. And to me, it's an ideal way to solve the space problem, and I'm just surprised a lot of poor people haven't figured that out. And keeping things rolling to meet a convention deadline. This railroad and the way we're approaching it is just about at the, the top of my energy level and my ability to fund it. When you move at the speed we've been moving, you can spend a lot of time and you can spend a lot of money. And on this electrified railway, diesels are always welcome. I say, you want to bring your diesel over? I'll drill a hole and put a pole on, we can run it on my layout. Nobody's gone for that yet. But. <laughs> Big time railroading in the Lone Star State. My interest in even rail fanning has always been train counts, numbers, density, things like that, just trying to figure out how things operate. And then when I saw that it was actually being done in HO scale, I was hooked. And teamwork brings a railroad together. I discovered this basement and I got a taste of what he was thinking he was going to do. And he asked me one question, he says, you intending to build this by yourself? And I said, uh, well, yeah. He said, no, you're not. And modeling the Pensy Panhandle just as it was. And there was this grungy, dirty town with steel mills, rundown buildings, soot and dirt. And I looked at it, I knew I had to model it. And rail fanning Mike Confalone's Backwoods Oxford County branch line in March of 1984. On this edition of Train Masters TV, we're operating trains on our Toma Project Railroad. Railroaders pride themselves on the fact that when they make a hook or a joint, when the couplers come together, that the only thing you hear is that pin in the coupler dropping. 